Kenzie against the Brazilian Betch Cohea. Both women five foot five inches tall, a half inch reach advantage with the American Julie Kenzie. Fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding professional record, six wins, no losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Natal Rio Grande to Norte, Brazil, Betch Pitbull Cohea! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, 16 wins, 12 losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Julie. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Steve Percival. Steve Percival, as the booze rain down, draws the assignment here, Kahili, to get us going in round one of a possible three in the women's bantamweight okay, division. Julie Kitsch and Betch Kohei. The fight clock is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And it is Kenzie in the all black, Betch Kohea in the yellow with black trim. Kenzie trying to get Betch Kohea to jump on those feints. Somewhat of a late start in mixed martial arts for Betch Kohea, 6 0, 30 years old, making her UFC debut here tonight. Kohea has started deliberately for much of her MMA career. Nice front kick there for Kenzie. Kohea trying to earn that respect from Kenzie. Kenzie using a lot of teeps, a lot of front kicks to keep her on the outside. She's also looking for that left hook going backwards, trying to counter Betch Kohea as she moves forward. You know, we talked about Betch Kohea, kind of a slow starter, and she's getting off to a slow start right now. Still trying to find her range. Utilizing a lot of side to side movement. Has to be careful off the exchanges, starting to raise her chin a little bit, but. Nice little combination there from Kenzie, and once again, as is the book on her, Kohei really content to counter here in the early going. Moves forward there, though. Julie Kenzie has been in there with some of the best women in the world. Tonight, welcoming a newcomer, Betch Kohea, to the UFC. <laughs> nice body shot there from the Brazilian. Nice combination. Oh, huge from left hook for Kohea. Nice combination from Betch Kohea. Now, now she's fighting a range. The kick did not land. The right hand did, though, there for Ketchy. A lot of power behind that kick of Kohea. 
but so far it really seems like the speed of Kenzie versus the power of Kohea. Kenzie needs to get her back off the cage right now. Kohea looking for double underhooks. Now foot stops and a nice knee from Kenzie. Under a minute to go in what has been a fastly paced first round. Kohea oh, really fighting a smart strategy. She knows that Kenzie's been the quicker fighter on the outside. She's trying to get to that clinch position and fight from there where she can use her strength. A little slip there by Kohea. This double Ketsy up against the cage now. Okay, so. Kenny. Yeah, they're asking her to commit on that jab, which is some good advice, which will okay, keep Kohea ready. on the outside. You're ready, you're ready. Smash it up. Come on. But Kohea had a beautiful entry into that takedown at the end of that round. Well, Ketsy would seemingly have the technical advantage as she lands the inside leg kick there, but Kohea is certainly powerful and she is certainly game. Kenzie is an excellent kicker. I like what they told her as well to finish her combination after the one two. Look for that high kick to the head of Kohea. See if Kenzie utilizes that here in the second round. Kohea lands with the left hand again in that countering mode here to begin round two. Kick to fall, the one two from Kenzie. UFC Fight Night on Fox Sports 1. We apologize to those of you experiencing technical difficulties. We are working on it and hope it will be resolved shortly. Three and a half minutes to go here in our second round. Betch Kohea keeping that chin tucked. Kenzie's starting to gain confidence here. Yeah, she's really getting up on her punches now and moving very well against Kohea, but a nice right hand from Kohea. Kenzie trying to draw Betch Kohea, bait her in. She started off the first round just kind of fainting and then not doing much, but now Kenzie fainting and moving off of it. Beautiful team from Kenzie. Kohea now has underhooks here. Kenzie trying to get to that 50-50 position. Nice job so far. Affording the takedown to attempt the Kohea. Appeared to just miss on the elbow there, did Kenzie. Big right hand from Betch Kohea. Kohea going back to the foot stop there, using her strength to keep Kenzie up against the fence. This is where Kohea has been most effective, but now Kenzie trying to make her pay in there. Nice knee, a nice short elbow earlier. 
Chuta, Beck. Pode arregaçar. Chuta! Isso! Copila! Copila! Nice spinning kick there for Kenzie. Starting to find that body of Betch Correa. Sequência, Betch, termina com o chute, bora! Double leg, pressuring up against the cage. Kedzie able to get that left underhook and stop that takedown up against the cage. Cohea right back to foot stops now. Ten seconds. And we are back live in Brisbane, ready for our third okay, and final round. You ready? Bench Pitbull Correa taking on Julie Kedzie. Greg Jackson believes his fighter Kedzie has two rounds in the books. Correa opens with a nice right hand in round three. And the corner of Correa is telling her the same thing. You're winning, you're winning. Not sure I agree with that, but definitely needs some urgency here in this third round. Nice counter straight right from Kenzie. But you see some damage to the outside of that left thigh of Julie Kenzie. Yeah, Cohea just needs to be more active. He needs to attack that lead leg of Kenzie. She got some success with that left hook. And now she's going back to combinations now. Cohea way more effective when she's not just looking for that big power shot. She's putting them together. She's dangerous. That's it. Both of these women in tremendous shape here tonight. Strong showing for Betch Cohea in her UFC debut against a very hardened veteran in Julie Kedzie. Cohea lands upstairs there. So the output starting to increase here now for Kohea. It is, that's what she needs now. She's able to back Kesey up now in this third round. Nice kick to the body from Kenzie, but that allows Betch Cohea to get on top. Beautiful takedown from Cohea to counter that body kick. Watch your back of the head, Betch. Two Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belts on the ground here. And how about the strength of Betch Cohea to work Kenzie up to the cage? Now, I'm not sure why she did that because that's allowing Kenzie to get back to her feet. Really use the cage as an advantage to cage walk here. That's what's Ke what Kenzie's doing. So perhaps Betch Cohea showing a little bit of inexperience here. Sure. And after working her to the fence now, maybe trying to get her off the fence. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now Kenzie trying to get back to her feet here. Cohea trying to take the back and possibly mount here. Good job from Cohea. Kenzie's gonna have to work from here. She's trying to turn and face and she does. Nice escape from Kenzie. Cohea was in control there. So an important stint there for Julie Kenzie. And we are back on the feet with a minute 40 and counting to go in our final round. Man, Betch Cohea has got a mean look about her. Very, very tough. Go, go, 
Let's see some action. She's coming strong here in this third round. See if she can work another takedown. It's definitely been her best round. Well, Kedzie with the wheel kick. Yep, the kicking game of Kedzie has been there tonight. Yeah, missed by much. I got those punches. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Angle. She's confused. Angle, left and right. Angle, left and right, and then right. A lot of posturing here, just over a minute to go. Just kidding. Yes, nice. Just give me one more inch on it, Julian. Come on, girl, let's take some action. And Kedzie, oh, yes. many times in this fight, has been within inches of landing a huge blow. Nice left hook from Bench Gohea as Kedzie starts to move forward and try to steal this round. Now doing a good job of adjusting to that leaping left hook of Betch Kohea. She's keeping that right hand nice and high. But that left hook landed for Kohea. Ten seconds, ladies. Ten seconds left in the round. Nice side kick from Kenzie. Kohea pressing forward. And they're going to do the tank at the end of round three. An entertaining scrap there between Julie Kedzie and Betch Kohea. The judges score the contest. 29-28, Kohea. 29-28, Kedzie. And 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Betch Pitbull.